Hey friends, welcome back to Walt Christie World where I talk about all things Disney, specifically pins and merchandise. And today I have some stuff that I picked up from the Disney parks that I wanna show you guys. Well, I actually have already filmed this video, but when I went to edit it, it was completely out of focus. Like this part where it was just my face. I don't know what happened, but it seems to be fixed even though I didn't do anything. So um, probably something, some button got pushed while it was in my bag and um, yeah, so, but hopefully it's gonna work this time. Um, so we got back from the parks a week ago today um, and we were there from Sunday to Thursday and stayed at the Riviera. I'll do another video like talking about our trip, um, maybe give you a few thoughts and a um, little bit of a trip report. But for now, I wanna show you the things that I picked up while I was there. I didn't do a ton of shopping, but I did get a few fun things. Um, I got four packages of the red Hidden Mickey um, mystery bag. So I'll open those in a separate video. And then I also got some more It's a Small World pins for my collection. Hopefully I can finish that one soon. Um, but other than the pins, I got a few things. I'm trying to think what I got first. Let's just go with, okay, so the, our first day was in Epcot. And of course we had to go in the Mitsukoshi um, little gift shop. So I got this little um, cats. I don't, what are these called? The little sun things um, where the sun like hits the sensor and then it bounces. I don't know. So my grandmother actually has a bunch of these um, and she, I, every time I go there, I want to get her one because um, yeah, she has a bunch of them. So I finally got one and this was 1950 and I think this was one of the cheaper ones. They actually go up to like, I don't know, 40 bucks. So and this is a small one, obviously. They have some bigger ones, but I think she'll like the small one better. She has them, um, she lives in like this apartment complex with other seniors and they all have like a big window in their living room with a ledge. So she puts them along the ledge um, and it's really cute. So I'm gonna give her that. And also at Mitsukoshi, I got this um, Demon Slayer figure. Hopefully you can see that in the plastic. This is also a gift, so I'm not gonna take it out, but my younger sister is in high school and she likes like anime and things like that and she really likes Demon Slayer. I've heard her mention that in My Hero Academia, which there was more stuff from that show than Demon Slayer, but I know she likes Demon Slayer better. Or I think she does, I don't know. <laughs> but, um, so I got her this. I figured this was a little better than like a backpack or something because I mean, she probably already has a backpack, so. This, this is something she can just like display in her room. And so that was $12.95 and it's an acrylic figure and it has like a base and then you just put the character and the, the show title in front of it. And then I also got myself something. <laughs> um, I just got this weird little face mask that says, will you be a dog? And it's basically just a dog face mask. So we'll see what that looks like. That'll be interesting. This next thing I actually got on the first night. We went to Disney Springs for dinner and met a couple of friends there and then also went in the co-op store, which if you're unfamiliar is right across from Dockside Margaritas, I believe, kind of close to Rainforest Cafe. Um, and there's, it's like a, you walk in and there's like all these little smaller shops. Like there's the dress shop and the, the um, art place, which is what I'm gonna show you now. And there's a bunch of different things, but we got art. Um, so this is another Dave Perio print for us. We have a uh, six, seven already, six. So this is our seventh one, Kitchen Cabaret. And we will be hanging this up in the hallway. When you first walk in our house, we have, um, the stairs and then a hallway to the living room and so on the wall in that hallway we have eight frames all with Dave Perio prints in them we will still have one empty frame and hopefully next time we go to the parks we will get our last one this was the only one there this time that I wanted um the, there's four that they're currently selling we have two of them and then the other one I didn't really want of Swiss Family Treehouse which I was like eh I didn't want to buy it just to just to have another one to put in the frame. So I'm going to wait till another one comes out um, to fill that last frame. 
So, okay, I think, oh, we got one more gift. Actually, two more gifts. I didn't buy a lot for myself, apparently. Pretty much just that print and the mask and the pins. So, um, okay, this is our other gift that we bought. And this is a sketchbook ornament that is Beauty and the Beast. I wish that you could see like all the pretty details from the camera, but I feel like it just really doesn't do it justice. But um, so it's got the rose in the stained glass on the back and all the books in the library. And they're, I guess they're dancing. I don't know. No, they're just hanging out. <laughs> I don't know if they're dancing or not. Um, also, I discovered when I was doing this video last time that it plays music. If I can find the button. Um, I know there's a button. There it is. Okay. So that's kind of cool. Um, and this is going to be for our dog sitters because they watch our dog every time. And we don't always get them a gift, but we like to get them something every once in a while. Um, I don't want to load them down with a bunch of Disney stuff, but I feel like it's nice to get them something every few trips. So this is uh, $25. Also, I didn't mention the prints are $40. Um, okay, so the sketchbook ornament, $25. They have a ton of these and they're all really pretty. So you really can't go wrong um, with a nice Disney ornament. So that's that. And I guess, oh yeah, I forgot about this. Okay. Hmm. So this is something that my friend actually picked up for me a while back. It's the orange bird pen that is open edition. And it came out um, right before they opened back up in July. And um, I asked her to pick, pick that up for me because I wasn't sure how long it would be there. I mean, it is open edition, but you know, sometimes they, they sell out and then they don't bring them back for a while. So I wasn't sure. So she picked that up for me. And um, since we saw her in Disney Springs, she gave it to me then. So that was fun. Um, and then now I have something that I need to send for her. Sorry, I'm like messing with my hair a lot, but I feel like it's messed up. But anyway. What was I saying? Oh yeah, so I traded a pin, um, the only trade that I made the whole time I was down there, because I really didn't see very many boards, um, was a castle pin that just came out that she had mentioned that she wanted to collect that series. So I didn't really want to collect the series, so I saw it and I traded and I'm just gonna send it to her. But anyway, so last but not least is a bubble wand. Um, we got this for Liliana because she loves bubbles. She was not with us which um, is a whole nother video I could make about leaving your toddler at home when you go to Disney World. It was kind of hard um, not being there or not having her with us, but I don't know. We, we always, or like when we had her, we said we want to still take at least one trip with just the two of us, just so we still have our like married couple time. Um, and especially this year with the pandemic and everything, I was like, I really don't want to try to handle her while we're trying to also handle ourselves um, with everything going on. So it was a good decision. I'm glad that we didn't bring her, but we missed her a lot and we wanted to bring her back something fun. So she has been having a blast with this. Uh, you turn it on, it has lights, it takes a second, but it starts spitting bubbles out and it just keeps spitting them out for as long as you leave it on. So she doesn't really like to hold it um, while the bubbles are coming out because they like blow in her face. So she will either have us hold it or we'll set it down somewhere and just let the bubbles come out and she'll chase them um, and giggle and laugh. So it's really fun, but um, I guess that's all I have. I feel, I felt like I had more um, when I filmed this last time, but I guess I was wrong. I just remembered what it is that I forgot, and it is this mug. Um, you've probably seen these. These were on Shop Disney for a while. They might still be there. They have a different one for each letter, and of course I had to get the O because I love Orange Bird. And um, our last name actually starts with W, but I don't know, I just like Orange Bird. So the W is World Showcase, and that would have been perfect for us as well, but had to get the Orange Bird, so. I knew I forgot something, but that really is it. I will come back hopefully next week with a video opening my pins and yeah, I hope you guys have a great weekend. I know it's almost the weekend, so I can say that. And yeah, I'll see you in the next one. Bye.